Now, former One Direction member Niall Horan just released his second solo studio album, Heartbreak Weather. He released this album early this morning around 12 midnight Eastern time. I was originally under the impression that Harry Styles was the breakout member of One Direction, but apparently all the remaining members are doing very well for themselves. Now, I'm happy to announce that I listened to Niall's album twice, back to back, and I'm going to share my thoughts with you guys on this album. Now, before I start this album review, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and that little bell next to it so you can receive notifications every time I upload a video. My name's Justin Ray, and ever since I was a little kid, I've been dope as shit. Okay, so let's begin this quick review of Niall Horan's brand new Heartbreak Weather album. So Niall kicks off this album with the first track, Heartbreak Weather, and this song sounds like it's a song straight out of 1984. Now, I don't know if he did this on purpose, but this song definitely has a 1980s feel to it. Not bad, it's a pretty decent way to start an album. Now, the next two songs I didn't care for, but by the time I get to song number four, Bend the Rules, Niall has recaptured my attention. This song is a soft, melodic ballad that I think anybody who's ever been in a serious relationship before can relate to this song. The chorus is very effective for that matter with lyrics, because on paper you don't break them, but it hurts so bad the way you bend the rules. He's talking about how he suspects his girlfriend of lying to him and even possibly cheating on him, but he doesn't have any proof. It's a real trust your gut and instinct situation, which I think we've all been there. I like how Niall isn't afraid to make a song about taking his girl straight up to the bedroom and skipping all the small talk. Not typical for a One Direction song, but this is Niall Horan. In the song Small Talk, he wants to cut right to the chase and take his date up into his bedroom and engage in some rather naughty behavior. The song has a super catchy chorus. It even kind of sounds like a Justin Timberlake song. Now the imagery in the song Put a Little Love on Me was fantastic. Niall Horan may not be the greatest singer in the world, but he definitely makes up for it with how he structures his songs. It's actually quite shocking to me how this album feels like it gets better and better as the album goes on. The song Arms of a Stranger is a solid track as well. The album started off with a good song, then the next two were somewhat weaker, but after you get through those two songs, the album has a major upswing, and the songs really start getting good until you get to song 9. And then we get a couple weak links, but overall the album isn't bad at all. I feel like track 11, New Angel, has the potential to be a fan favorite. It has a catchy chorus, Niall is longing for a new angel, definitely a solid track. I swear it feels like Niall Horan is the next Justin Timberlake. They have a similar sound and I could actually see him filling those shoes. The song No Judgment is a perfectly placed song on this album. It's placed at the perfect spot. For how strong this track is, it really helps the balance of this album. Now this album is a perfect example of how an artist can use one hot song to sell an entire album. For example, the song No Judgment is such a solid track that it sells the rest of the album easily. Now if you guys want my opinion on which songs to listen to on this album, definitely check out the song No Judgment, Bend the Rules, New Angel, Small Talk, and Arms of a Stranger. Now this album surprised me a little bit. I definitely didn't think it was going to be as good as it actually was. I give this album a 3 out of 5 rating. You guys need to go pick it up, especially if you're One Direction fans, Niall Horan fans, Harry Styles fans, Louis Tomlinson, Liam Zane, the rest of them. Go check out their solo projects because it amazes me. These guys were in a boy band selling millions of records as One Direction and then they all split up and went their own ways and now each individual has millions of subscribers on YouTube and they're selling records as solo artists now. You guys definitely need to check them out. This is the review to Niall Horan's Heartbreak Weather album. You guys definitely need to pick it up. Like I said, this album surprised me a little bit. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it actually turned out to be. After listening to the first three tracks, I was kind of iffy about this album, but like I said, the album took an upswing after that, and the songs just started getting better and better, it felt like. So the album, I give a three out of five. I definitely can't hate on it. Now, I'm not a One Direction fan or a Niall fan, but anytime a new artist drops an album, I like to go check it out and see what I think of it. This album wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Niall Horan surprised me. He's not the greatest singer in the world, but his, um, like I said, his song structures make up for it. He's actually a pretty decent musician. I remember seeing old videos of him with One Direction. He was actually one of the only ones that ever played an instrument. He always had the guitar up on stage. I think he's one of the most musically inclined members of One Direction. I'm interested to see where Niall's going to take his career next. Harry Styles also. Maybe I should go check out Harry Styles' album and Louie's album. These guys are doing big things as solo artists. They surprised the shit out of me. Boy bands split up and they all go their own separate ways. Yo, my name's Justin Ray, the YouTuber you guys love. Ever since I was a little kid, I was dope. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you can receive notifications every time I upload a video. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys on this side or the other side. Peace, motherfuckers.